I'm going to show you how to make these maple sausage and cheese scones. Alright, we're going to start with our batter for our scones and we're going to throw in about three tablespoons of maple syrup here. And then we're gonna throw in some buttermilk. Our goal is to get one cup of liquid here. So we just add the buttermilk until it fills up to one cup. Then to that, we'll just add one egg and we'll mix that up real good. And we're gonna put that in the refrigerator while we get our dry ingredients ready. Next, we're gonna add some flour. You should always weigh your flour when baking. We want exactly 381 grams of all-purpose flour here. Then we'll throw in a tablespoon of baking powder and a half a teaspoon of baking soda. To that, we're going to add about a tablespoon of sugar. We're going to put all of this into a food processor. We're going to add one and a half sticks of butter that is as cold as you can get it. Nice and cold straight from the fridge. We're going to cut that up into small pieces, throw it into this food processor and just kind of mix that all up. Give it a few pulses. So it looks like the butter is kind of evenly spread like this. And we're going to add about a cup of cheese. You can use cheddar cheese or we're using like a Mexican blend cheese here. Give that a couple more pulses and then we're going to dump our dry ingredients into a bowl. To that we're going to add about a cup of cooked breakfast sausage that we have cooked all the way through and then we crumbled it up as small as we could get it and put it in the refrigerator to cool down completely. We want it nice and cold for this. Okay, we're gonna take our wet mixture straight from the fridge, pour that in. We're gonna mix this all up. We're gonna be really light on the mixing here. You want a nice crumbly batter. If it's a little too crumbly, you could add just a little more buttermilk if needed. You want it to come, just start to come together. And we're gonna quickly flour our counter space here and dump that dough out onto the counter. And we're gonna work it lightly. So we're not gonna do a whole lot of kneading here. We're just gonna do some big folds. So you can see I'm flouring my hands, do a big fold over, rotate it, do another big fold, do another one. We're at three big folds here. And then here's a fourth fold. And one more, here's a fifth fold. Again, we don't want to overwork this. The more you work this dough, the more gluten builds up and you really don't want the gluten to build up too much. So here we've got, we're going to cut this in half. This should make about 12 to 16 scones. So we're going to take this first half and we're going to just reflower it and then form it into a nice little circle. You're going to form it to about the thickness that you want your scones to be. Then once we have our circle, we're gonna just take a knife and we're gonna go ahead and cut it. I'm gonna cut this one into eight slices. So this will make a total of 16 scones after you do both halves of your, your dough here. So this first half will be eight slices. And scones, as you know, are triangular in shape. This is how you get your triangular shape out of these. And we're gonna just move these over to this Blackstone pizza pan that I have lined with some parchment paper and we're gonna put this actually back in the freezer because again you want this to be as cold as possible. We formulated some gluten structure here by uh, working it a little bit. Putting it in the freezer will actually cause that gluten to break down a little bit so it won't be quite so so tough. While that's in the freezer for about 15 minutes, we preheat our oven. We don't want it too, too hot. Get to maybe about 400 degrees. Once it's hot enough, we're gonna put these in and they're gonna sit in there for about 20 minutes. Once they're nice and golden brown, you know, take them out and then there you have them. Some sausage and cheese scones. Now, there is a little maple syrup in here, but we still wanna to top these with a maple glaze on top or a maple drizzle. So to make that, we're just gonna melt a couple tablespoons of butter, throw in some powdered sugar, throw in a little bit more maple syrup for the flavor. 
not using real exact measurements here. You can add more maple syrup just to get this to the right consistency. But once you have this drizzly glaze here, we're gonna drizzle that right over the top of all these scones. That's gonna give it that extra little sweet kick to kind of go with that overly savory flavor of the scones. Just look at that. Look at the inside of that scone. These are so light and fluffy, and man, they are so good. Perfect breakfast for anybody. Y'all, let me know if you try these. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Mmm.